is an earth observation company specialized mostly in geoinformation products for different sectors like environment, security, agriculture and many other sectors. We're using for this both earth observation data, satellite navigation and satellite positioning systems and also satellite communication to integrate and build services that do really serve the customer's basic needs. If we think in terms of forest storm damage assessment, it's, it's very important that you get observations close to the event so as to be able to quantify and localize the event properly. Before, there was not a sufficient coverage of satellite data and all the information uh, was gathered by field inventories. Nowadays, with the availability of Copernicus satellite data, this is not a limiting factor anymore. Nowadays, we have a lot of Sentinel satellite data available and there's a lot of pre-processing ongoing to make the data readable. And then we are analyzing these fleet of data sets to map the crop types in the agricultural fields or make estimations on crop yield, for example. Beside the Sentinel satellite images from the Copernicus program, we also use the Copernicus high-resolution layers from the Copernicus land monitoring services and specifically the high-resolution layers on the forest. They are comprised of different products. So the first product is a tree cover map showing where the trees are standing. And then the next one is the dominant leaf type. So we are differentiating between uh, broadleaf and coniferous forest, for example. And the last one, of course, is the tree cover density product, which is showing from the, from the sky how the density of the forest is from zero to 100%. We are combining information from uh, the Copernicus land monitoring service, for example, the tree cover density product, and we combine it with Sentinel-2 data and uh, we have a pre-storm damage image and we have a post-storm damage information. We can understand the trends of that forest. We can understand where that area has been also damaged in previously or what has been affected lately. That is really important for the users as well because they can understand the pre and the post and how to act. Of course, we cannot prevent the next big storm damage to strike. We do not know when, but it will happen, particularly with the effects of global warming. So it's important to be prepared. And with the data that we have available now, both from the Sentinel satellites and the Copernicus land monitoring service, we can detect, quantify, and localize these damages quickly so as to help do the operations on the ground that are necessary in a fast, efficient, and cost-efficient manner also. That's what it's all about.